What's up guys, it is Nick, former Rockfish alum, and today I'm gonna run you through a workout that I would be doing. So, recently, NCAA just ruled that you're no longer allowed to face off on your knee or moto grip, so you strictly have to do it standing neutral grip and standing up, not on the knee. So this is kind of what we've been talking about in previous videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run you through my workout going all standing. So first things first, getting right into it, we wanna get our hands nice and quick, feeling ready to um, stab in at the ball. So we're gonna start with some chops right here. So when you're in your standing stance, make sure your shoulders and hips are turned into the ball. So start off, do some chops. probably want to do like four sets of 12. I'm not going to do all of them today, but I'm going to run you through each thing that I would do for my workout. Um, next progression for chops. These are called M's and it's another variation of chops. And what you want to be doing is you want to touch, the, you want to touch the ground, touch the ball, and then touch the ground in front of the ball. And then you touch the ground in front of the ball, the ball, and then back. And so when you're doing it fluently, it looks like this. This really works on your kind of hand-eye coordination, picking that target on the ball and in front and behind of the grass. So you'd want to probably do like four sets of those. You'd do three or four. Um, next thing for your hands, another drill I like to do is I take this ball and I'm kind of in an athletic stance, hips, hips and knees bend a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is with one hand is I'm gonna drop the ball and with the other hand, I'm gonna catch it like this. And as I'm doing it, I'm not flipping my palms up at all because that's slowing me down. I wanna do it as fast as I can like this. So I drop it, catch the ball as fast as I can. Work your way until Full speed, and you're gonna drop it a couple times, but it's another drill I like to do to really speed my hands up before games. Another one you can do to speed your hands up and kind of get dialed in pre-game is it's almost like the M drill, except you're using your hand and the shaft of the ball, and you're gonna actually move the ball as you move your hand. So you start like this and hit the part of the ground that the ball isn't touch the ball, bring the ball back, touch the ground, so it looks like this. It's a lot easier to do this on the turf rather than higher grass, because sometimes you'll be grabbing the grass as you're doing it. So now that you're all warmed up, I like to kind of stretch my shoulders and wrist out so I do this thing here, I don't really know what you call it, but I just twist my wrist like this. Get your wrist all nice and loose. And then I stretch my shoulders and back because those are the muscles I'm gonna be working and we're getting into it. And now, like I said, this whole workout today is gonna be standing neutral grip, so you're not gonna be out on a knee at all. So first thing first, we're gonna start off, this is a drill that we did in one of our previous Rockfish Live sessions, and this is gonna be the stab drill. So you're down, you're in your athletic stance. Elbows bent, this is important, I'm just gonna talk about the stance really quick before we get into it. Make sure your elbows are bent and they're inside your knees. Don't have them out here, outside your knees, that will slow you down. Don't have your elbows all the way up like this because then you have no power or speed coming into the ball. Make sure your elbows are nice and bent so you're really getting a piece of that. So now what you want to do for the stab drill, I would say about like 10 times, 10, 15 times you can do this. You can do it just work on um, just stabbing into the ball or you can get an app like an FRA app or there's different um, um, whistle cadences on YouTube that you can use while you do 
this so you can like work on your reaction time and actually bot mod face off on the whistle. So here we go, stab drill. I'm coming in and I don't even need a whole piece of the ball. I'm just stabbing in with this with my top hand and lifting my back hand. So it looks like this. I'm kind of dropping my head right below my knee as I'm doing this to add a little more weight on the ball as I'm going into it. So I'm not just straight up here pitching it. I'm following my head a little bit. Okay, and then once you've gone your stab drill, that's when you can um, bring in other moves into it. So you start off with that. Then you can get creative. So you can work on your left side pop as you're popping the ball out. So you get a piece of it with the stab drill you're right here. Then work on doing this. You can start slow and then get faster and do a full game speed as you get better at it. And once you have it right here, pull it across your body pop it out to yourself, so like this. Just keep working on that. Do it like 15 times in your own. Then, we can do some backdoor exits with standing neutral grid. So, Another, I like to practice all my exits throughout my workout because it, realistically in games, you're not gonna face off forward every time. You're really not. So if you're not confident in these other moves, it's gonna be really hard for you to succeed on the field. So next part is we're doing the backdoor exit with a standing neutral grip. So first move is the same with the stab drill. Same exact thing, you're stabbing into the ball. Don't even need a full piece of it. We're just trying to collapse that sidewall on an oblique angle on part of the ball. That's all we need. And once you're right here with the stab drill, <laughs> you're rolling this wrist back and popping it out to space. So you'll be staying in your stance the whole time until you turn your body and pop it out. That's when you exit and open your hips out. So it looks like this, the stab drill, back to space. See how I'm opening my hips to the right side? That makes it easier to get the ball rather than opening on the left side, going like this. That, then I really am kind of blindsided and I have my back to the ball where my opponent can go right there and scoop it up. Versus if I open my hips up like this, and I'm right here. So do that about like 15 times on your own. Backdoor exit, standing neutral grip. Um, another one you can practice is through the legs exit standing. So what you do, same thing with your stab drill. And what I like to do this to make sure I put it at a 45 degree angle to my wing or to myself is I like to make it, I find it's a little more, the ball gets a little more straighter. If I can take this part of my shaft and smack it on my thigh here, because I find when I smack it on my thigh, it goes exactly where I want to go versus having it pinched and kind of snapping my wrist here and trying to throw it out somewhere. When I hit it on my thigh, it usually goes exactly where I want it to go and it comes out more of a straight line. So between your legs, another exit you can try from today's workout. guys to see. Defensive 270 exit. 
what this is if you're an elite face-off guy and you know what a defensive exit is on your knee where you clamp here and then crank this back hand like this well it's similar to that except you're going to be doing it standing neutral grip and you're going to be rotating 270 degrees so it looks like this again our first move is always the same it's always going to be the stab drill into the ball second move is going to be our 270 so it looks like this stabbing the ball right here i'm going to jump my feet imagine there's the line that's right here i want to split that line in half but i want to rotate myself around because remember you have one step to pull the ball out so i'm right here I'm gonna rotate myself around. As I do that, I'm gonna take my butt end, I'm gonna pull it into my armpit, and I'm gonna come across my body to get separation. So it looks like this. I know that was a little complex. It's a lot to kind of take in at once. So you can break this down and do it slowly and work your way up until it gets faster. So again, the defensive 270 exit. Start, get stab drill. Cut the line in half on the other side. You know how when we're doing a pro hop, we're going forward, we cut the line right here and come across. For the 270, you have to be on the other side. So, right here, cut the field in half, and then bring this, that, this um, butt end into your armpit. I'm gonna do that in full speed. I did a little slower just to kind of show you guys. But here's full speed. One more time. Kind of using your momentum too as you're coming really helps. Like as you step and doing this motion, swinging your hips around, it really helps do this more fluently. guys enjoy today's workout try each of those um, different drills I showed you guys do them each like 15 or 20 times um, let us know what you think guys thanks for watching